Did you have a favorite teacher? Yeah, you know, I can't uh, remember a whole lot of my teachers, but the one teacher I remember uh, was special was a lady by the name of Mrs. George. And the other thing I remember about Mrs. George is that she was my fourth grade teacher in Patterson. And when we moved to Fairlawn, she was our next door neighbor. And it was kind of special. And I remember that uh, her daughter, Sandra, came in to our class in fourth grade and, and did a demonstration about bees. And then later on, a few years later, when we were their neighbor, Sandra was my babysitter. So I remember that kind of stuff. What was your favorite vacation? Well, my favorite vacations are now with you guys, um, going to Cape May every year. Is that what you mean, or is it was it a vacation when I was a little guy? Mm, little guy. When I was a little guy? Well, we didn't get to take that many vacations when I was a little guy, because it was pretty expensive to do that then. I can understand why. Yeah, and um, but uh, I remember one time that uh, we did get to go to Florida on on, a, on an airplane, all four of us, Yaya and Papu, and uh, Dad and Thea Sue. So I remember that trip. That was kind of special because we didn't go on a lot of vacations, and I remember going to Florida. Miami Beach and we had this great pool and then we were on the beach and we went out to dinner and we had a lot of fun together. What do you remember from when I was born? Wow, I remember Matthew being born. I remember that um, mommy and daddy were in Cape May that summer before you were born and um, mommy uh, on the way back got dehydrated and I had to take her to the doctor and I think to the hospital and then you popped out about three weeks earlier than you were supposed to and we were real excited but we weren't qu quite ready for you yet because we were um, doing a couple things in the house in Jamati Road we were finishing off we were completely redoing the bathroom in mom and dad's uh, room. And, and it, the whole thing was being ripped out and replaced with all new stuff. And the contractor wasn't ready yet. He wasn't finished. And, and mom was real upset. She wanted it to be completely done because she didn't want any contractors around when you came home for the first time. So, so we made him finish before you came home. And also, your bedroom, we didn't have your crib in yet. We had bought it, but we didn't have it delivered yet. Um, so, uh, so while mom was in the hospital, um, I hurried up to the store and had them deliver your crib and your, uh, and your chest, your, your drawers. Um, and then the other thing I remember is that when you were born, you had what's called the high bilirubin count, which is uh, a form of uh, jaundice, which means you were a little bit yellow when you were born. And dad had that too when he was a little guy. Um, but you had to stay in the hospital well, we took you home, and then you had to go back, and we had to keep you in the hospital for a while, for for several days. I can't remember how many I have to check with Mom, but it was at least three or four days that you were back in the hospital, and we stayed with you all the time, 24 hours a day. And we had to put you, we had to cover up your eyes, and um, put you under these heavy-duty lights to get uh, to get rid of the uh, bilirubin. And finally, the bilirubin count started coming down and down and down and down and they said you can take them home now and we went home and dad had all big signs around the house and a sign outside the door and outside in the front lawn and we can go back and we can look at that video because I got video of everything. It's probably about what, it's probably what, about what you did for Mike. Yeah, you remember helping me do that for Mike? Yeah. Thank you. Is that it?